Hi guys, my name is Dr. Ria and I secured a rank 386 in November INISET and rank 369 in NEET PG24. This video is going to be all that you need to know about Dr. Zainab Bora Ma'am's BTR and how you can effectively use BTR to really up your game and get that top rank. So I would like to start out by saying that I have watched Dr. Zainab Bora's videos on Unacademy a lot and they were very uh, game changing for me and really helped me boost my rank. So uh, Dr. Zainab Bora ma'am has put out a lot of series on Unacademy before but her new Cerebellum BTR uh, she has incorporated all of her content into one place so you don't have to watch any of her old videos again. So the advantage of Dr. Zainab Bora ma'am's videos is that she really gives you the most concise and high yield information in the less in the least amount of time possible and she uh, she's also superb in uh, clearing very very difficult topics and she makes them seem very easy. So uh, definitely Dr. Zainab ma'am's BTR will give you that push but you really have to use it in the right way possible and I'm going to tell you how you should use her new BTR. So the first question I want to clear is that is BTR enough on its own and that depends on your history of how well you have studied during your MBBS. If you have been an average student and you have not read uh, your first and second or third prof subjects for a while then uh, no I don't think watching BTR directly will give you that clear concepts that you really really need first. So I do recommend watching main videos first just to get a base, a foundation and an idea of the subject as a whole before you move on to BTR and that will and watching BTR after you have cleared your concepts will really really help you get that extra push that you need. However, if you have been an excellent student uh, throughout MBBS and you have been preparing uh, side by side and you have been revising your first, second, third prof subjects then yes you can directly go for BTR. Um, uh, but I think most of us fall in the first category. Even if you have read very very well, we tend to forget these micro, pharmac, anat, biochemistry. We really don't remember them as, as well as we did when we first read them. So we do need to get an overall understanding of the subject, uh, which you will only get if you watch the main videos, I think, first. Um, because Dr. Zena Ma'am's BTR is essentially a rapid revision of all the 19 subjects and I don't advocate for watching rapid revision directly when you first start out your preparation because I think that is meant for a revision as the name says it's rapid revision and you're supposed to use that material for revision only and not for as your base for your foundation. I think it is important to get your concepts correct, your, uh, your base correct before you move on to watching such high yield material like rapid revisions or BTR. So no BTR in itself if you are watching it as the only source of your entire PG preparation it's not going to be enough if you are an average student. So I know a lot of you after hearing what I just said might be freaking out because uh, a lot of you guys have been using BTR plus PYQs as your only source and I want to say that it's okay, it's not too late, you can always judge your preparation by giving tests. If you have uh, done a, for example biochemistry, BTR um, and MCQs and PYQs then you can go ahead and solve a subject wise test uh, of any app and you can gauge from there how well you have really prepared if it is enough or not and if you feel like still you are feeling weak in some concepts or some areas uh, then you can go back and watch the main videos selectively of that topic only so in that way you can still strengthen your concepts without wasting too much time but yes going forward I would recommend that you watch the main videos of any source which is not too extensive um, you know I'm, I'm sure that many faculties now are making very concise videos from the start so if you watch them first and you make your notes from them first it will be better for you and it will give you a more of a confidence before you move on to studying BTR so I just want to put it out there that it's not uh, it's not game over for you if you have been doing only BTR and if BTR has been uh, you know really helping you as the only source and you have been doing great in your tests then maybe that's enough for you but if it's not been enough for you then you can still go back and watch the main videos of only those topics which you are still weak at all right now the plan for you guys who have joined any offline or online coaching or you are just uh, watching videos and making notes on your own what is the sequence you have to follow and how do you have to use btr in your preparation 
Number one, as I have said in my very very first video, you have to watch your videos and you have to make your notes. You have to understand the concepts of every single video and simultaneously make notes in your own handwriting um, as you see fit, as you are able to understand them. So that is your first priority if you are starting any any subject, that you choose any faculty, any source which is concise, you watch their videos, you listen to their lectures and you make your notes. That is going to be your foundation and this is a very very essential step. Yes, this might be time consuming, a lot of you say that it's very time consuming, it will be time consuming but you have to put in that extra effort, that extra hours if you really want to get that good rank guys. It's, if it was so easy then everybody would be getting amazing ranks and, and this competition would not be so real. right? So please uh, invest your time in a wise way, make your notes first. After you have made your notes, then you have to go and solve all of the previous questions, at least 5 years NEET and 5 years INICET and even FMG questions are very very important. Recently uh, I have noticed that a lot of FMG questions tend to get uh, kind of repeated with INICET which is surprising. I have found a couple of topics which I have seen overlap between FMG and INICET. For example in the most recent INICET we did have a question where we had to um, identify the uh, rib fractured in an x-ray and that same exact question I mean a very similar question was asked this year in January FMG so from there I understand that the exams are not so different anymore and I think the question bank of FMG is equally as important as it is as NEET PG or INICT so after you have made your notes you have to go back and solve as many PYQs as you can at least five years for NEET, FM, uh, NEET and uh, INICT and I would say I think two years at least for FMG after you have done that you will get a very very overall uh, a very good overall view of the entire subject and what types of questions are asked from that subject, which topics are important. While solving the PYQs, you have to go to your notes, open them simultaneously and really star mark or underline or highlight the, the topics which are frequently asked so that you, uh, the next time when you revise your notes, you know exactly what to focus more on. And that is the sole purpose of your first read. I would say if you, ha if you are having a time crunch right now, then at least do this much. Only your videos, notes and PYQs IQs is enough for your first read. That is what I also did and that is how I was able to finish my syllabus in only three months. If you try to do too many things now, like you know videos, notes, BTR, rapid revision, uh, QBank and all MCQs, you are not going to be able to finish your subject and that will really start to uh, agitate you. So please keep your things simple, concise and to the point. I would say that it is okay if you are not able to do BTR now itself. BTR is a revision source, you can use it uh, from your revision onwards and you will have enough time, don't fret. Uh, don't uh, don't get anxious and don't feel FOMO of BTR. It you have to use the resources as they should be used at the right time. Using them too late or too early uh, might be detrimental for your preparation. Now, after you have read your subject from whichever source you wanted to, and you have a good grip on your notes, that means I think if you have revised them at least once or twice, and you know exactly which topics are given in your notes, now that is a good time to start your BTR. And I think after one revision or so, your GT scores will also begin to plateau. And that is where Zella Ma'am's videos are gonna come into play is when after you do have a good grip on your notes and you don't know what else to do to boost your score then do watch Zaina Ma'am's PTR. What she has done is she has really given you all of the important topics, all the PYQ topics in a very very concise to the point manner and she has also included a lot of uh, very extra edge points as well that will help you boost your rank. So you have to listen to Ma'am's videos and uh, simultaneously you have to keep your main notes open. Now because I I am, as I said, I assume that you have read your main notes well, while ma'am is teaching, you will be able to correlate with your main notes that yes, this topic has been covered in my main notes or this topic is extra for me. And there will be many things extra that ma'am has taught and that will seem new, new to you and that is where you're going to get that extra edge, those extra points, the, those extra topics. So listen to ma'am's videos and I think you will also get that BTR booklet. Do annotate the BTR booklet alongside ma'am's videos and that will help you build that visual motor coordination and help you remember things more. 
after you have watched a video of one rapid revision of, of any one subject now you have to revise those btr notes with your main notes and you have to see what topics are missing from the btr book which topics are extra in your main notes because the concept is now you have to integrate these two notes your main notes and your btr booklet notes you have to integrate them both at one place either you can do that in your main notes or you can do that in your btr book but because btr is more concise i do think it's better to annotate to annotate in your btr booklet itself so because you have read your main notes you will be knowing what extra points or extra concepts there are in your main notes which you might want to read again in the future so do annotate all of those points in the btr book itself if there are less pages you can always insert extra pages of your own but do try to make that subject a wholesome subject a wholesome notes in itself such that when you revise next time you don't feel that fomo of wanting to open your main notes again because that is a point of reading your main notes once or twice before so that you know exactly what is in in there and you know what you have to add in the btr booklet so what should be the added in the btr booklet just to summarize you have to also add or any other pyq points or pyq topics which ma'am has not covered which you will get to know when you solve pyqs again yes you have to keep solving pyqs with every revision and that is the only way that you will get a hold on them just solving pyqs once or even twice is not going to be enough i do recommend that you bookmark the pyqs which you get wrong repeatedly and then only revise those towards the end but yes at least once or twice you do have to solve the entire pyqs again coming back to uh, what i was talking about what you have to annotate in your btr booklet or any missing pyq points or topics which ma'am might have missed and you have to annotate them in your booklet you have to annotate any extra points from your main notes not all the extra points because obviously main notes are main notes because they have covered everything and everything does not have to be read again and again so you only have to annotate those points which you feel that you want to read again any extra concepts which you feel that you forget and you want to read again or any extra topics which might Might be extra edge, uh, might not be in a PYQ, but you still because you have read it so well, you want to read it again. So you have to annotate all of those things in the BTR booklet. This might be a little bit time consuming, but this will create a perfect a perfect revision resource for you in the last ten days, and you will thank yourself like anything. So do this. This is how you have to integrate your main notes into your BTR booklet. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. I just want to say one thing again which I say frequently that if you are following a strategy which you are feeling confident in which is is giving you confidence about your preparation don't change it don't be in fomo of any resource or even of btr just keep doing what you are doing and as long as you are doing it well you are going going to reach your ultimate destination. If you guys have any other doubts about BTR which I might have missed to talk about please ask me in the comments or join my telegram group and I will be uh, I will be very happy to answer any of them so keep studying guys prepare well be confident and believe in yourself also please subscribe to my channel and let's meet soon bye